Thank you. Thank you, Carl, and I appreciate his mentioning that I was Miss Congeniality in the Miss America pageant. <laughs> I can still do this, too. <laughs> By the way, I realized that when you came in and you got your sheet of paper that told you that there would be someone here who was in the Miss America pageant, that some of you might be expecting a slightly younger slightly better looking woman. But I have watched you come in and I must be honest with you. <laughs> I was expecting some younger, better looking men. <laughs> and in case some of you think that I am traveling around the country as a professional speaker with my crown still in my purse, let me tell you right now where this all fits into my life at this point. Not long ago, I was asked to go down to Port St. Joe, Florida. I thought to speak to high school students. I was standing with the school superintendent in the gym auditorium <laughs> when he said we got so excited about having a speaker from out of the county. that we decided to bring in all of our students, kindergarten through grade 12. <laughs> I had a hot flash. <laughs> or as we say in the South, a little personal summer. <laughs> I said, wait a minute, you've just changed all the rules. Kindergarten people are five-year-old people. They're not even really people, not yet. <laughs> what do you want me to talk to five-year-olds about? Goal setting? <laughs> the internet? Really, the best thing I would say to a five-year-old is, I will give you some money if you will go away. <laughs> <laughs> They make me nervous, and if I'm ever around a whole class of them, when they leave, I feel like I have ants all over my body. <laughs> and he said, we knew this was going to be a challenge. So we told the high school students that you would talk to them about the steps to developing a sense of humor that will be an asset. I said, I can do that. That's what I do. He said, but with the five-year-olds, we decided to really push this Miss North Carolina angle. He said, we have shown them dozens of pictures of young women wearing long gowns, holding roses, crowns on their head. And in case any of you are taking notes, and I see so many of you have ripped out pencils so far, <laughs> if shown enough pictures, five-year-olds can be made to understand the words, Miss North Carolina. Unfortunately, there's no picture for the word former. <laughs> and they came in looking for her. And they run in little lumps and clumps at that age. Have you ever noticed it? One whole kindergarten class was holding on to the same long piece of rope, <laughs> moving along like a giant centipede. The teacher could take them anywhere she wanted to take them. And if she felt like it, she could pop that rope and they'd go up and down. And she took the whole kindergarten class up into the stands. And they got up there, and before the teacher knew what was happening, one of the little five-year-olds, as we would say in North Carolina, broke loose. <laughs> and she got down on the floor and was looking up at me. And she said, where is Miss North Carolina? <laughs> well, if there's one thing we all know, it is the importance of honesty anytime but especially if you're dealing with young children. I looked her straight back in the face. I said, she's sick. 
She looked up at me and she said, are you her mother? 